welcome to Gentile Arena, Chicago, Illinois, as Coventry Healthcare and Netna Company proudly presents a Missouri Valley Conference Game of the Week as the Loyola Ramblers play host to the Illinois State Redbirds. Happy Saturday, everyone. Good to be back with Catman, Dave Kaplan, Scott Warman with you. Interesting matchup. First one of the year, Dave, between these two teams and Loyola really struggling right now. They are because they're banged up. It's funny to look at the two teams. You had an Illinois State team that may be 1-13, to the deepest roster in the MVC. They dealt with injuries. Now they got everybody back. But Loyola, their best player, Milton Doyle, the Kansas transfer, he won't play. So one team gets healthy, the other isn't. Well, Illinois State is healthy. Nice bounce back win on Wednesday. Thanks in part to one of their newbies, Devon Akun Purcell. Terrific performance on Wednesday night. Yeah, averaging just over 12 a game, and he can score in a variety of ways. But because they have so much depth, it allows Dan Muller to use different combinations, give guys rest, and I think this is a team, when they get to March, I don't want to play Illinois State because of guys like this, but also the depth effect. Meanwhile, Dave, as you mentioned, Milton Doyle out, so Christian Thomas really has to step his game up for the Ramblers. Yeah, he does. I was here a couple weeks ago when they had a tough game with Drake, but they won, and he played really well. Stepped out on the floor and banked shots. That isn't his forte. His forte is those big shoulders. He can rebound, he can score over bigger people, and he's really good getting out and running in transition as well. So he's got to have a big day today because it's a Loyola team that without Doyle, a bit under me. Can Christian Thomas and the Ramblers stop the four-game slide? Starting lineups, opening tip, Redbirds and Ramblers next. You want affordable health care coverage that helps cover rising medical costs, and that's exactly what you'll get with Coventry. We offer a variety of affordable plans for you, your family, or business. To find out more, visit CoventryHealthcare.com today. Health. Wellness. Coventry. Who could resist the call of America's number one puppy food brand? With DHA and essential nutrients also found in mother's milk. Purina Puppy Chow. Now, get any large original or flatbread pepperoni pizza for only $10. Casey's, famous for pizza. Yeah, I'm married. Doesn't matter. You do that for me? Really? Yeah, I'd like that. Who are you talking to? Uh, it's Jake from State Farm. Sounds like a really good deal. Jake from State Farm at 3 in the morning? Who is this? It's Jake from State Farm. What are you wearing, Jake from State Farm? Uh, khakis. She sounds hideous. Well, she's a guy, so... Another reason more people stay with State Farm. Get to a better state. At Aetna, we believe a health insurance company should be as passionate about their members' health as they would be their own. Because a healthier you leads to a healthier community. And healthier communities lead to a healthier world. Who could resist the call of America's number one puppy food brand? with DHA and essential nutrients also found in mother's milk. Purina Puppy Chow. The 2015 Missouri Valley Conference Game of the Week is brought to you by Coventry Healthcare, an Aetna company, the official presenting sponsor of the NBC TV network. By Purina Dog Chow, for every dog, there's a dog chow. By State Farm, for auto home life and banking, get to a better state, find an agent, or get a quote at statefarm.com. And by Casey's General Store, Casey's famous for pizza. Big crowd starting to file in here at Gentile Arena, our Missouri Valley Conference Game of the Week between the Loyola Ramblers and the Illinois State Redbirds. Dave Kaplan, Scott Warman with you, great to have you alongside. There is the head coach of the Illinois State Redbirds in his third season, Dan Muller, one of the all-time greats in Redbird history, one of the leading scorers. In fact, he played in 128 consecutive games as a starter 
in the 90s for the Redbirds. Let's take a look at our starting lineups. Presentation of Casey's General Store, Casey's famous for pizza. There you see Lee Knight, Wills, McIntosh, and Lynch for the Redbirds. But, Dave, when we take a look at the Ramblers with Doyle out, Earl Peterson getting his second consecutive start here this afternoon. Yeah, he's the guy who will attack inside, very good off the dribble. They're going to have to get a team effort. There is no one on the roster that has the ability of Milton Doyle to bust you for 20-plus on a consistent basis. You and I, before the game, saw Milton Doyle, and I said, what do you think? He said, I'm day-to-day. So some say he's gone for a couple more weeks. Milton says day-to-day. He's trying to get back as fast as he can. There's Porter Moser, who I actually tried to recruit back in the day in 1980. <laughs> Makes you feel good, doesn't it? It does. I didn't, get, I didn't get him. He's coaching. I'm over here. <laughs> Four years as a head coach here in Loyola. Remember, he spent four years in Central Illinois as the Redbirds head coach and finished up in Central Illinois with a 51 and 67 record. All right, let's take a look at the series history. Presentation of Coventry Healthcare. Annette and the company visit CoventryHealthcare.com for more information, health, wellness, Coventry Healthcare. There you see the 13th meeting between these two teams that date back, dates back to 1980. And of course, last year, these two teams held serve on their own home court, splitting the two game series. This is series, our game number one of the two game series this season. All right, let's take a look at Dave's keys to our game. It's made possible by Frontier Communications, your best choice for phone, TV, and high-speed internet services. All right, for Illinois State, get the ball to the big fella. Dive it inside. When you're on the road, you want to get everyone comfortable, everyone acclimated, and get easier shot opportunities by getting the ball inside to Reggie. That is the first way to start it. And then the perimeter defense. You don't want to allow what happened in the Drake Bradley game that I had the other night. You let Drake get going early, bang a few open threes, and all of a sudden you got a problem. Loyola, there's a number of huge keys for them. But number one, quick start. Got to get off to a great start. Redbirds, as we mentioned, coming off the victory against Missouri State at home on Wednesday. That was huge. Remember, they suffered that heartbreaker at home at Redbird Arena last Sunday against 18th ranked Northern Iowa. Good to see a team bounce back, and I'm sure Dan Miller was glad to see his troops do what they did on Wednesday. Yeah, I sat on my couch and enjoyed that game. That was as entertaining a basketball game as I've seen in a long time. And look, Northern Iowa was an exceptionally good team. And Illinois State could have won that ball game. They just bang a three late, you and I, and now they get Wichita today in the big showdown. Yeah, right after our game. That should be huge in Cedar Falls as 18th ranked Northern Iowa taking on 12th ranked Wichita State. Good one here today. Illinois State taking on the Ramblers of Loyola, and we are getting set for the 13th meeting between the Redbirds and the Ramblers, and Illinois State will have the game's opening possession. Harris Lee works the point for Dan Muller's squad and has done an exceptional job in his second season in a Redbird uniform. Nice job defensively here by Loyola, man to man, but really aggressive early and a one and done opportunity. James collects the miss and we have our first foul of the afternoon. Well, they get Lynch with a ticky-tack foul. I don't mean ticky-tack on the official. I mean, he can't pick up cheapies like that. Mm -hmm. Rebounds already out of their possession. You can't put yourself in that position. You see Jeff White, he works the point for the Ramblers, and he's got a terrific assist to turnover ratio over the last few games. There's Thomas, 32 from Clayton, Missouri, popping up high. Dumped down to James, shot clock at seven, and a steal by Paris Lee. Tenth in the nation in steals per game is number one for Illinois State. Well, great defense. We'll get a look at it again. That is what I love double in the post. Here's a post double as well. Both these teams aggressively trap the post. Nice job by the big fellow Lynch to come up with a deuce. But when you aggressively trap the post, you make it very difficult to get your offense going unless you got a great passer, the guy getting trapped. How about the soft touch by the big guy inside? That was a nice soft touch. Peterson, Juco transfer, Turk. 
Nice offensive board by Christian Thomas. That's what he did against Drake a couple of weeks ago. He was a force around the basket, and then popped out and hit a couple of deep perimeter shots. But whoa, where'd that come from? James, who is Peterson's teammate at Coffeyville Community College on the miss there. His four-game losing streak for Loyola started down in Carbondale against Southern Illinois. Nice steal and defense by the Ramblers. James running the floor. Nice look down the court, though. Really good job. The layup was, you know, the easy part, but really good pass by Jeff White. And James was one of those guys, Dave, when I saw him in Carbondale a couple of weeks ago that really opened my eyes. Kid really worked very nice inside on the offensive side of things. This is Tony Wills. Watch defensively what Illinois State does a very good job with. They're gonna trap the post. Pass is gonna come inside, now watch as it goes in. Here comes the trap. You got a big fella trapping, they're aggressive, and there's the steal. All set up by doubling the block. Then here comes the Loyola trap, but you let him get right around it. Got to be more aggressive and hold your spot, and he's able to get the soft touch and get the bucket. I like the trap. You got to seal him off to force him to take a bad shot or kick it out. John Jones comes in for Reggie Lynch. As you see, Tony Wills at the line, the sophomore from Indianapolis. One thing we've known since Dan has taken over this Illinois State program is his team is so long in the front court and in the back court. You know what they remind me of? Syracuse in terms of length. Yes. And you played Syracuse and boy, every guy is long and agile. They're a mini version of that. James trying to work inside, find a little wiggle room, and he has all four Loyola, Loyola's points right now. But again, easy burp baskets. You go inside. Best way to a clean perimeter look is through the post. He did a really nice job there to power it up. McIntosh rolls out. Thomas with another board. And another one and done for the Redbirds. Peterson, kick out, three, Turk. And it's Jones with the rebound. If I'm Porter Moser, I'm thrilled with that possession. We didn't make the shot, but good ball movement, made the extra pass and got a good look. And a travel. First turnover of the afternoon. Get the ball inside and you power it up. Watch the head and shoulder fake. There it is, guy bikes, now he's gotta come back down. While he's coming down, I'm going up. James again inside. Really good entry. You can tell that the scouting report says get the ball inside first. They're trying to establish it. They've done a very good job with it here early. Jones faces the double team. Now Hawkins just into the game. Hits the three. Double team. What did we say about two minutes ago? Best way to a good perimeter look is go inside first. Nobody got out and recovered. Got a hand up and he buried the open look. Good job, Illinois State. Turk trying to answer. I like the flow in the opening four or five minutes I here, do. Dave. A couple guys got open looks, a couple guys put three on the score sheet. Wow. We've gone nine points in about 20 <laughs> seconds. And Hawkins has two of the three threes made in the both teams' last three possessions. Ramblers with the lead at 9-8. Here's Turk again. Thomas on the baseline. And another steal for Paris Lee, his second. But see how he read it and he 
took himself down to the baseline. He cut off that angle and picked it off. Lee gets his own rebound and the putback. He's aggressive. He is a tough, hard-nosed kid. Missed the shot inside and instead bounces, gets the rebound, goes back up and scores. That's Devin Turk directing tra traffic. Nice ball rotation on the perimeter. And White can't get the shot to drop. Illinois State's done a good job at getting a hand up on those shots. They've not had a ton of open looks. They did get one and buried it, Turk, a couple possessions ago. But a couple of them, they've been contested somewhat. Hunter inside the arc. And a foul on Illinois State. Ramblers basketball when we come back. Both teams with some hot shooting from the outside as we just get started here in the Windy City. Basketball fans, the Missouri Valley Tournament in St. Charles, Missouri is coming soon. Make your team the home team at the MVC Tournament and get great seats for as little as $12 a session. Just $12. Don't miss the 2015 Missouri Valley Conference Women's Basketball Tournament, March 12th through 15th at Family Arena. Get your tickets and get to St. Charles now. There are a lot of Illinois State alums here in Chicago and they're supporting their team right now just underway. Our Valley Game of the Week between the Redbirds and the Ramblers. Want to let you know, closed captioning for today's telecast is made possible by the Doubletree by Hilton Hotel, North Shore Conference Center, the preferred hotel of the Missouri Valley Conference. Dave Kaplan, Scott Warman, Jeff Graham and our entire Niles meeting recruit. Great to have you alongside in our Valley Game of the Week from the Windy City. And we talked about Milton Doyle being out and such a tough loss. And the thing of it is, is remember Milton had the shoulder injury before the season and started. And he played with the, I don't know what you call it, a brace, a brace, some type of a compression sleeve. And it's not, that's not what's bothering him right now. Ankle. It's the ankle injury that's been bothering him. And baby. when I watched him with you as he walked into the arena, he wasn't limping, right. but there's a big difference walking straight ahead, slowly, gingerly to go over and sit on the bench and cutting to get open in a basketball game. Well, and as you know, when basketball, there's a lot of starting and stopping, so there's a lot Correct. of use on that ankle. Both these teams, by the way, shooting 50% early on. Yeah, he's a really, really good player and was a huge recruit for Porter Moser when he decided not to go to Kansas and to come here. He's the face of the program. He's their best player. He's their leading scorer. And it was a real shot into the, you know, of adrenaline where, hey, new coach, 
we got a superstar player here, and kids from the city started looking and go, well, wait a minute, he went there, I can go there. Well, obviously, you being from the area, I mean, that's got to be huge for Porter to get kids from the area. We know the great public high league, you actually come here to Loyal and play some basketball. That could be huge for the turnaround of this program. Huge for the turnaround, and it's interesting. You walk around this campus, especially on a gorgeous summer day, mm -hmm. this is beautiful real estate with the lake right behind it. People come out here and go, wow, Loyola is beautiful. It is. Great facilities. Right off the lake. I mean, even in a cold day like today, it's absolutely gorgeous and got a lot of potential students perusing around campus here in Chicago. Yeah, today's a big day for uh, high school kids that are here visiting to look at the school. Better do it before you get that foot of snow, brother. <laughs> yeah, it's supposed to come down a little bit tonight. <laughs> Shot clock at three. Chrisman forces a three. Hawkins with the rebound. They've gotten a couple of opportunities to bang a three, which is so important when you're struggling, just haven't got those to go down yet. As I said the other night, the Drake game, Drake hit three or four early, shot 60% from beyond the arc in the first half, and that's what spurred them to a really needed road win for the Bulldogs. There's Akum Purcell, wow. Well, we talked about him in the open. I mean, we're seeing the effects of the depth that they have here. Now they go to a little bit of full court pressure. That was a very athletic completion of that play. Take a look and watch this. There's Purcell hanging in the air. I mean, that is not an easy shot. You know, I High think, degree of difficulty. I'm sorry, David. It says a lot to this young man. He is just in his first year with Dan Muller, and he's already one of the three captains on this Redbird squad. A lot of respect for the young man coming into this first season. Yeah, you don't find too many sports scenarios where a youngster is the captain. Jonathan Taves here in Chicago. Correct. Same type thing. Chrisman on the dump down low. There's Chrisman, too strong. Richardson. And a fresh 35 on the shot clock, they say change of possession. Wasn't sure if Illinois State ever got possession, yeah. but they'll take it. Loyola on a four minute drought, last field goal at the 15-32 mark. Shot clock under 10, and a diagonal pass that was read by Hawkins off of his fingertips. And Ramblers will have the basketball with six seconds left on the shot clock. They trail it by four. In the insurance business, you think differently about a customer when you stand in the middle of his dreams. When she serves you breakfast every Saturday morning. When his son plays on the same team as your son. When you live down the street from your customers, you make sure they get covered right. And you make sure you're there when they need you. That's the way it's done around here. Grinnell Mutual, a policy of working together. To find a Grinnell Mutual agent near you, go to GrinnellMutual.com. The Missouri Valley Conference will be celebrating 25 years of Arch Madness in 2015. As all 10 teams will compete in downtown St. Louis for the league's automatic bid to the NCAA tournament. With the madness beginning at the Arch, Valley fans can join their teams at their headquarter hotels and be a part of the excitement. Conveniently located near attractions like the Gateway Arch, team properties, plus the tournament headquarters, and other fan hotels offer Valley rates to fans wishing to follow their schools all the way to the MVC championship title. To book your rooms at these properties for Arch Madness or for your next trip to St. Louis, call 800-916-0041 or visit ExploreStLouis.com. The 2015 St. Louis Cardinals ticket packs and all-inclusive tickets are on sale now. Get yours at cardinals.com. 
two lead changes, three ties as we're 1131 left in the first half of our Valley Game of the Week here from Chicago. Let's take a look at our Missouri Valley Conference standings. Presentation of Perino Dog Chow for every dog. There is a dog chow. We briefly mentioned it, uh, Dave, in the outset. The game after us in Cedar Falls, Iowa. Number 18 versus number 12. Both those two teams, of course, Northern Iowa and Wichita State, sitting atop the standings as we head into conference play this weekend. You look at those standings, and they're, I mean, Drake goes on the road, beats Bradley the other day. Those guys are at the bottom, but you go up to the top. That matchup, Wichita State, Northern Iowa, is going to be classic basketball. But don't sleep on Evansville. Indiana State, especially at home, a really good basketball team. Greg Lansing right now is my coach of the year in the Valley. I think he does Amazing a whale job. of a job. Oh, awesome. And, of course, the Redbirds hanging in right now. And how about the start from Montel James here at home? There's a buzz on the campus. I was talking to... Uh, young lady that I know down in Normal who works in the media relations for the sport, for the athletics, uh, Fee Davis, and she said, everybody's fired up. The football team goes to the national championship game, and the basketball team's got healthy finally. They got this 12 or 13 men that can really play. They feel like Illinois State could make a real run here as they get toward March. Well, Dan's got a great lineup here, and as you mentioned, a deep team that can go 11, 12 deep, and I think they'll be dangerous as we start out the second half of Valley play here this afternoon for all 10 teams in the conference. You know, the way that they play the Redbirds, Coon Purcell picks up a foul here, and you think, oh, don't want to pick up these fouls, but they play so many guys. Okay, you take a seat, I'll run another guy in. You always have fresh legs, which allows you to play the style that that guy wants to play, and I watched Dan Muller play at Illinois State. That guy could go. Yes, he could. The only person that was going to stop Dan was Dan, <laughs> and that wasn't going to happen. And last touch by Loyola, so we'll have the Redbirds with the basketball. And you talk about fresh legs. That is huge as you head down the stretch of the regular season in the Valley, and then you get into play in March. Correct. When you get it's a long season, guys hit the wall, especially younger players, but you start to get all these other guys acclimated, so you put them in in March, and it's not foreign to them. Jeff White with the foul. Missouri, enjoy the show. Order your free travel guide and start planning your next getaway at visitmo.com. Redbirds right now at their largest lead at four. There's a beautiful read there, Deshaun Knight and Akun Purcell hooking up. And the Redbirds fans here at Gentile like that. Well, ISU's rolling six of their last eight field goal attempts have resulted in a bucket. Watch this. Kind of give a look over to the coach. What a nice job by Knight to disguise what he's waiting on. He's just letting it develop, and then there comes Coop Purcell along the baseline, and nobody's going to stop that. But the whole play set up by the point guard not tipping his hand. How many times do you look like, oh, i got to get it there, i got to get it. He's looking over at the coach. He's looking around. Boom, there it goes, and there's the deuce. Great job on that assist. Give him a gold star. That's a perfect pass, too. That, that's a Peyton Manning pass. That's there, money. Right? That's right there. There you see Deshaun Knight. Didn't know his brother Josh Shelby played for Bill Self in the Kansas Jayhawks back in 2010 and 2011. Wound up being a pick by the Memphis Grizzlies. So he comes from some great bloodlines basketball-wise. Again, pressure from Illinois State. Not super aggressive. Not Nolan Richardson in Arkansas back in the day, but enough to annoy you. And then they go to this zone look. Got to get movement to beat a zone. Attack the gaps and then kick. Shot clock at two. Purcell. Now Lynch inside the sophomore. 
Well, Big Fella's pretty agile. Around the basket, uses the window, nothing fancy, and comes up with the deuce. But Illinois State, this is danger time for Loyola. Down eight, you could feel like Illinois State's gotten their butterflies, they're on the road, and they're rolling. They're in their game plan. Lynch, fifth in the conference in field goal shooting this season. There's James on the dump down. Nice, Christian Thomas. All right, watch Lynch operate along the baseline first. Does a nice job. I mean, this is not a guy who's 5'9 and jet quick. He's a big man. Really nice job on the reverse layup. And then let's go into Christian Thomas. He finds a way to get the hoop and the harm. Loyola, prior to that, one for their last six. Mm. Needed that in a big way. And he completes the conventional three. Thomas, a guy who just plays so much bigger than his size. Really a great story. Actually was recruited by Porter, Porter Moser when he was assistant for Rick Majerus at St. Louis University. Right, where they run that ball screen yeah. offense. And when Porter got the job here in Loyola, Christian decided to make his travels up to Chicago and follow Moser taking over the program here in the Windy City. Foul there was on a bit of a bump. They've cleaned the game up. Freedom of movement is what it's all about now over the last few years. And that was one of those restrict his movement, we're going to get you. Lynch on the offensive rebound. And Montel James picks up his first foul. Porter Moser none too pleased with that call. He thought it was a shot block. Looked like he got him with the body, though. Lynch to the line. Now, remember last year, his freshman season, he had 96 blocks, which was a school and valley record for a freshman. And he's already swiped over 50 this year, which is a Illinois State record for sophomores. Gets one of two. I like his soft touch, though, Dave. He does. He's got basketball skills. He's not a guy who went, they said, oh, you're the tallest kid, so go play down there. Right. You can tell he's got some basketball skills to him. Did you know that Bob Newhart is a Loyola grad? I did not know that. How about that? Remember Bob Newhart? Oh, heck yeah. Our younger listeners are like, who? who? <laughs> the old actor. Who, who are these two old men? <laughs> All exactly. <in> the <laughs> Shot clock under 10 again. And off of James' fingertips, but they're going to be last touch by Illinois State. Timeout on the floor is 7.52 left in the first half. You want affordable health care coverage that helps cover rising medical costs. And that's exactly what you'll get with Coventry. We offer a variety of affordable plans for you, your family, or business. To find out more, visit CoventryHealthcare.com today. Health. Wellness. Coventry. Who could resist the call of America's number one puppy food brand? With DHA and essential nutrients also found in mother's milk. Purina Puppy Chow. insurance company should be as passionate about their members' health as they would be their own. Because a healthier you leads to a healthier community, and healthier communities lead to a healthier world. Who could resist the call of America's number one puppy food brand? With DHA and essential nutrients also found in mother's milk. Purina Puppy Chow. Tonight's Missouri Valley Conference legend is Loyola's Jerry Harkness, a native of the Bronx, New York, 
Harkness was a two-time All-American and led the Ramblers to the 1963 NCAA championship. Drafted twice by the NBA, he was taken in the second round by New York in 1963. He and his 1963 Rambler teammates were inducted into the College Basketball Hall of Fame in November 2013. Redbirds shooting 61% from the field early on on the road, six-point lead. Time now for today's NBC Scholar Athlete of the Game. It's Illinois State's Tyler Morris, the junior distance runner on the ISU men's cross-country squad. As a GPA of 3.33 in finance and is a two-time honorable mention All-Valley honoree in cross-country. Congratulations to Tyler Morris. I'll really? give you another interesting alum in this game. We said Bob Newhart, Loyola. How about John Malkovich, Illinois yes, State? Yes, that's correct. I did know that. One of my I'm starting to learn the Loyola history with the second year in the map. There you go. One of my favorite movies, John Malkovich, Rounders. Great movies. <laughs> um, Illinois State, 12 bench points, zero for Loyola. And you've got Earl. Peterson, who normally would be a bench guy, and he has yet to take a shot in the game in nine minutes. And the shot clock is under 10, and the turnover by the Ramblers. Off the fingertips of Devin Turk. There you see Porter Moser. He's a very good basketball player in his own right at Creighton University, former member of the Valley. Jones back in inside. Well, right now, it's a hot knife through butter. They're getting what they want through their defense, making it tough on Loyola, and they're getting what they want offensively going inside. Love to see a shot chart for both of these teams early on, Dave. Well, there'll be a lot of dots around the basket yes. for the Redbirds. There's Peterson there, as Dave just alluded to. And one good thing that Loyola can look at, six baskets, six assists. So they're passing the ball leading to baskets. Shot clock at seven, and Lee will save it on the turnover. Inside to Jones, and a block. Great, great block by Earl Peterson. That was a big time block. Turk trying to find James and another steal for Paris Lee. He already has three. Jones facing that double team, lost it. You know, a lot of these Ramblers possessions, now there's an early shot in the possession, but we've seen them eliminate a lot of time on their possessions in this first half. A lot of time on their possessions. So by the way, Loyola, three turnovers, the last buck 45. Watch the block. That's just pretty. That is just making a play. And then here's the steal right there. Loyola's just doing a poor job right now taking care of the basketball. It's like gold. It's a precious commodity. You have to take care of it. Here's Peterson looking for his first points of the afternoon. 75% from the line as he misses the first of two. Mass substitutions coming in for both squads. As you see, Porter Moser had a little conversation with Devin Turk. Jeff White also checking out. Nice crowd in here today. This place is, is packed. You see a huge contingent wearing red the Redbirds fans supporting Illinois State here in the Windy City Deshaun Knight backs out resets with 12 on the shot Purcell. Woo! Oh, shot. <laughs> he didn't even go up like he was going to shoot. He was off balance and buried it. Hey. 
Redbirds with their largest lead right now at nine. James at the block against Lynch. Wow. Well, James brought his A game today. He said, you know what, I'm going to bust my tail inside, and he has really done a good job for them. He has 10 of these 17 Rambler points. Paris Lee can't get it to drop. Offensive rebound. Hawkins, too strong. There's Dante Ingram. Another Chicago Public High player now with the Loyola Ramblers. Christman with a nice dish. That's a really good sequence for Loyola. Do a good job on the glass, make interior passes, and get yourself a couple quick baskets, get right back in the game A five point eight. Look at that dish, beautiful job. Lynch commits, high dish. Here comes Lynch, high dish. Nicely done. James now with a dozen. Hey folks, looking for something new to do after the games during Arch Madness, the beautiful Grand Hall at St. Louis Union Station comes to life with a spectacular indoor light show every night. Enjoy cocktails and small plates along with the 3D panoramic show from 5 until 10 p.m. at Union Station. Visit grandhall-stl.com for details. And there you get a shot of the huge crowd on this Saturday afternoon at Gentile Arena. Ramblers trying to stop a four game losing streak and right now they trail it by five to Illinois State. Hunter, one of the best shooting three point shooters in the league. Purcell takes that three. And Ingram comes away with the rebound. Rambler's on a little bit of a run right now. Better movement out of Loyola now. They're moving the ball better, but their guys are giving them some action. You've got to force the defense to move. With the shot clock at two, Peterson. Ransom gets the rebound for Illinois State. Not a lot of second chance points opportunities for Loyola in this uh, first half. No, they're not getting a lot of the offensive rebounding end of things. There's one for the Redbirds. Purcell. There's another. Redbird's gone a little cold here offensively. Purcell on the drive. And there's Ingram with another rebound. Nice job to clean it up. They had already given up two offensive rebounds on the possession. Chrisman on the drive. Joe will go to the line. Solid pass though. Christian Thomas. Five point lead for the Redbirds. Get any large original or flatbread pepperoni pizza for only $10. Casey's, famous for pizza. Calling all fans of superior service and a sincere smile. Calling all fans of world-class shopping, a new local restaurant with Chicago favorites on tap, and the pizza this city is famous for. Whether you're here for the big game, the next quarterly training, or just coming to enjoy a relaxing weekend, you'll feel like our number one fan. Located just 12 miles from downtown Chicago with ample complimentary parking, come experience why the Double Tree by Hilton Chicago North Shore Conference Center is the preferred hotel of the Missouri Valley Conference.
It's our NBC Game of the Week from Chicago, Illinois. The Loyal Ramblers playing host to the Illinois State Redbirds. Hey folks, Metro Transit in St. Louis is giving away two all-session booklets and two VIP passes for Arch Madness along with the Deluxe Hotel Stay plus two Metro NBC fan passes for use on Metrolink, Metrobus, or the Downtown Trolley throughout the tournament. Visit the NBC official Facebook page for complete details. Talking it over with his troops. Five point lead for Dan and his squad. And there you see Porter Moser trying to stop this four game losing streak right now with his best player, Milton Doyle, still on the shelf with that ankle injury. Joe Chrisman to the line. He had his 52 straight game starting streak broken on Wednesday night in the loss at Coke Arena against the Wichita State Shockers. And with the loss, really, it's not Chrisman's play. It's really trying to find a little bit more answers offensively as Chrisman more of a defensive specialist, bringing in a guy like Peterson to help help all set, Dave, the, the loss of Milton Dorn. Right, when you take your top scorer out, you've got to find a way to replace that offense. No question. Ooh. Joe misses both right at the front end of the rim. ISU's on a two minute and 50 second drought without a field goal. So they had it rolling for a while. They got to get it going back. But Loyola's kicked up their defense. Got to make those free throws, man. McIntosh on the drive. And the jump ball call. Possession arrow favors Loyola. Hey, stay tuned for our halftime report. Presentation of State Farm. For auto home life and banking, get to a better state, find an agent, or get a quote at statefarm.com. Reggie, Reggie Lynch checking back in, as is Montel James, who has had a monster first half for the Ramblers. Yeah, he's gotten a nice breather. He should be fresh. They've got to get the ball back inside to him again. He has 12 of the 19 Ramblers' first half points. Here's Richardson, the freshman from Kansas. Ingram's got a seam, and that's blocked by Lynch. Again, another block by Lynch, and they're going to say another jump ball call. This time, the Redbirds will get the basketball back. Lynch is a force in there. <laughs> yes. I mean, he is a real factor at both ends of the court. Here comes the dribble along the baseline. No head and shoulder fake. There's the shot block. Now he just tries to get it up, and Lynch again alters it. And then you see the scrum that leads to the jump ball. Contact down low. Looks like Dante Ingram, the freshman again from Chicago, will pick up the foul. Dante Ingram's out of Chicago Simeon, where he played for Robert Smith. It's a great, great program, won four straight state titles. Robert's a Hall of Fame coach. And that's the school that Nick Anderson, if you remember back in mm -hmm. Illinois lore, went. Ben, late, great Ben Wilson. Derek Rose. Another offensive rebound for the Redbirds. Wills just inside the three-point arc. And again, the Redbirds keep it alive on another offensive board. Deshaun Knight. Long two, and Porter Moser is not a happy man. He feels like his guys are getting out-rebounded because Illinois State's going over the back, and that is what he is screaming about. Well, we talked about the length in the early on with this Illinois State club. I mean, there's a little contact there going for the rebound. I think anybody watching the tape would tell you that, but it leads to two points Illinois State. Lead now at seven for the Birds. Turk. And Knight gets it after the Ramblers try to keep it alive. Under a minute left in the opening half of play in our Valley Game of the Week from Gentile Arena here in Chicago. 
Lynch has it stolen by Turk. Got a three second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Doesn't make any difference. And contact for the rebound. Montel James being very aggressive trying to get the offensive board. And Bobby Hunter from Illinois State is going to pick up the foul. That's the eighth team foul on Illinois State. Much to the chagrin of some of the Illinois State fans who are here in Chicago. You know, one thing I think Porter's going to have to talk about with his guys is, guys, we're not getting calls on over the back on the defensive rebounding. We're going to have to be bigger, stronger, tougher, and find a way. You can't say the ball didn't come to me. you got to go get it. That's the way they can neutralize the length that Illinois State brings because that's a really good basketball team from Bloomington Normal. Dave Loyola only with uh, five team fouls, so be interesting to see how Porter wants to maybe defend this. Get a change of possession after the free throws here from James. Depends how far the clock goes down, but you get under 10, you definitely use that one foul and then force them to have to inbound and re-rack their offense again. And there it is, right there. Standard coaching, Porter Moser. Good call. And now Earl Peterson will come in, as well as Joe Chrisman, one of the best defenders on this Loyola roster. All right, 6.6 .6 left in the opening half. Knight with three. Rebound, Lynch. And that'll do it. 20 minutes in the books here at Gentile Arena. Redbirds lead it by seven. It is time now to check in with the head coach of the Loyola Ramblers, Porter Moser, for today's St. Charles Convention and Visitors Bureau plans for the second half with Dave Kaplan. Dave? Porter, it seemed like rebounding was a bit of an issue for you guys. Talk about what you'll tell your team. Well, we got to get into their legs. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, trying to really work the referee, but they're, they're right. You know, we're, we got to get more fundamental blockouts and uh, get into their legs and make sure that's an over-the-back call and not leave it by chance. We got to block out better. And offensively, it seemed like when you got the ball inside, you guys were able to do some things. Yeah, Montel James is really wanting the ball. We got to get in there and. Christian Thomas got to get in the flow. He got hit in the head, so we don't know his status. But Montel had a really nice half for us. All right, good luck. Thanks, Cap. All right, let's go back to Scott. All right, guys, thanks so much. Our Chat with the Coaches is brought to you by the St. Charles, Missouri Convention and Visitors Bureau. We're making plans to attend the 2015 Missouri Valley Conference Women's Basketball Championship on March 12th through the 15th. Go to historicstcharles.com or call 800-366-2427. Ramblers trying to stop a four-game slide at home here this afternoon. Montel James with a huge first half. James and the Ramblers trail it by seven. Halftime report coming up next. Imagine your future, the places, the possibilities. Where might your aspirations, interests, and abilities take you? Illinois State University is where your true talents are discovered, nurtured, and put to work. We cultivate leaders, build careers, and ignite your passion to impact our world. State your passion at Illinois State University. The Learfield Sports Directors Cup honors the nation's best overall collegiate athletic program in each division, men's and women's sports. The prestigious award continues its reign as the crowning achievement in college athletics. To follow your favorite team, like us on Facebook. Find us in USA Today, online, and on Twitter at LS Directors Cup. Over two decades of excellence, the Learfield Sports Directors Cup. There's inside the classroom, and then there's a world waiting right outside it. You can read about diverse cultures or live among them. You can listen to a lecture about the Great Lakes or, or jump in one. From loop to lakefront, now that's 
That's a quad. Loyola University, Chicago, where extraordinary lives begin. The 2015 Missouri Valley Conference Game of the Week is brought to you by Coventry Healthcare and Aetna Company, the official presenting sponsor of the MVC TV Network. By Missouri, enjoy the show. Learn more at visitmo.com. And by Mercy, your life is our life's work. Find your Mercy physician at mercy.net. Welcome back to Chicago and our halftime report. A presentation of State Farm for auto, home, life, and banking. Get to a better state, find an agent, or get a quote at statefarm.com. Some of the all-time greats in Rambler history. Some of the alums that played basketball here in Loyola. Being presented to the crowd here in Gentile. Dave Kaplan, Scott Warman with you. you. You know a couple of those guys, don't you? 1985 a, uh, NCAA team that lost to Georgetown this week 16. And I looked and went... Whoa, wait a second. That's Al Frederick Hughes, who's one of the greatest players they've right. ever had here. I coached him in 1988 when I was a professional coach, and we had him. And I looked and went, oh, my God, I haven't seen that guy in 27 years. Well, so interesting. Makes you feel young, doesn't it? Does. it? Let's get to today's game, Illinois State and Loyola. One thing I've noticed in this one, these two teams really trying to pack it in and get those – high percentage points in the first half. Yeah, Illinois State has so much length and athleticism. Loyola's smaller, but they're tough, they're stout, they're trying to score inside. But Porter talked about what you and I talked about. Look, he goes, I'm trying to work the officials to get the over the back ball, but he said, we gotta do it with our legs. We gotta get into their rebounders, force them to go over the back, that's how you get calls. Don't let them jump over you. We talked how deep Illinois State is. They have 16 bench points to zero for Loyola in the opening half of play. Yeah, because they play so many guys. You know, Loyola has, you know, Earl Thomas, who's not normally one of their big scorers, and he doesn't see the starting lineup all the right. time because you got Milton Doyle. No Milton Doyle, thus you shorten the bench rotation. All right, we'll take a break. More coming up here from Chicago. We're at the half. It's the Royal Ramblers and the Illinois State Redbirds in our Valley Game of the Week. You want affordable health care coverage that helps cover rising medical costs. And that's exactly what you'll get with Coventry. We offer a variety of affordable plans for you, your family, or business. To find out more, visit CoventryHealthcare.com today. Health. Wellness. Coventry. Who could resist the call of America's number one puppy food brand? With DHA and essential nutrients also found in mother's milk. Purina Puppy Chow. The administrators, educators, coaches, and fans of the Missouri Valley Conference expect nothing but the best from their teams. And the Valley student athletes take pride in exceeding that expectation. On the field, on the court, on the track, and in the classroom. Celebrating academic and athletic excellence for more than 100 years. This is the Missouri Valley Conference. At Aetna, 